Hi, uh, this is a interesting problem. I came across this problem in a channel called the Tahiri Math Size channel. I gave the link in the description. Please go and watch. Okay, coming to this problem, we are uh, given a function uh, with uh, domain and codomain as real numbers, and we have this uh, relation f of x plus y minus f of x minus y is equal to f of x into f of y. Uh, we have to find that function f of x. Okay, let us begin. Uh, let us make some observations first. The first observation I want to make this. Uh, I want to make is this so let uh, x to be 0 and y to be 0 so this equation the original equation will become f of 0 minus f of 0 is equal to f of 0 into f of 0 is f of 0 square this is f of 0 uh, square is equal to 0 therefore f of 0 is equal to 0 this is the first observation that I want to make okay uh, the next observation is uh, uh, again we are going to assign some values to x and y in this time we assign x to be 0 and y to be x so uh, let me copy uh, the original relation here for the convenience. So we have 0 plus x is x minus 0 minus x is f of minus x is equal to f of 0 into f of x. And uh, f of 0 is 0. Uh, so uh, this is f of x is equal to f of minus x. So this is the second observation that I want to make. That is, uh, if we want to find uh, uh, by f of uh, x for all values then uh, we since f of x is equal to f of minus x we just need to find f of x for all the positive values right for the negative numbers f of minus x is equal to f of x so we just need to find uh, uh, the positive uh, values for uh, f of x okay that is uh, the values for f of x for positive values of x okay mm, the third observation i want to make is again by making uh, some assignments to these values let x to be x by 2 and y to be x by 2 so uh, the original relation uh, becomes this is the original relation so we have x by 2 plus x by 2 is x minus f of uh, x by 2 minus x by 2 is 0 this is f of x by 2 and f of x by 2 is f of x by 2 whole square so f of uh, 0 is 0 so we have uh, f of x is equal to f of x by 2 whole square we can recursively apply this um, again and again mm. so we have f of x by 2 divided by 2 whole square whole square so this gives f of x by 2 square whole power 2 square in general we can uh, recursively apply it again and again so in general we have f of x by 2 power n whole power 2 power n right so we have this uh, nice uh, relation f of x is equal to f of x by 2 power n whole power 2 power n now uh, as we have seen uh, in the second observation since f of x is equal to f of minus x we just need to find uh, positive or negative uh, values of uh, x and that is uh, the we have to find f of x for uh, x being positive or negative so suppose x is positive let x to be positive and uh, we are going to do this we can rewrite this as f of x is equal to limit as n tends to infinity f of x by 2 power n whole power 2 power n right uh, since this relation holds for any values of n and being any natural number uh, this limit also holds and this, uh, uh, we have assumed x to be positive remember that and uh, okay we can rewrite this as limit n tends to infinity f of x by 2 power n power 2 power n by x whole power x so x is a fixed value and uh, we have this and note uh, x by 2 power n as n tends to infinity this uh, converges to zero so we have this and uh, that convergence is since x is positive we have this h tends to zero uh, h being positive f of h whole power one by h uh, we have uh, two power n by x which is reverse of x by two power n so we have this rewriting this we have limit h tends to uh, zero um, this is a uh, right hand limit f of h whole power one by h whole power x so this is the case for all x greater than 0 all right and we know f of 0 is equal to 0 and that is one thing and uh, for other values this is the case okay now uh, we know f of x exists for a particular value of x so uh, this limit should exist if this limit does not exist then this function value does not exist for all x so this limit exists let that limit be a so we have a power x remember a can't be negative because if it is negative uh, a power x uh, 
will have some imaginary values but we know the codomain is uh, also a real also real number set so we have some value a non-negative value a such that f of x is equal to a power x for all x greater than zero this is one important thing so f of x is equal to a power x for all x greater than zero now consider the original relation so this is uh, it uh, suppose we choose x and uh, y such that x minus y is also positive so that we can apply uh, this formula here so uh, we choose y to be less than x okay so this gives a power x plus y minus a power x minus y is equal to a power x into a power y which is a power x plus y we have a power x plus y on both sides so subtracting from uh, that from both sides we have this for all x minus y being positive numbers and uh, this is possible only when a is equal to zero therefore we have uh, f of x is equal to a power x for all uh, x being positive so this gives f of x is equal to um, zero because a is zero for all x being positive and uh, since f of uh, minus x is equal to uh, f of x for all uh, x being positive we have f of minus x is also equal to zero therefore and uh, also remember the first thing we have noted is f of zero is equal to zero so uh, f of zero is also equal to zero so combining these all uh, we see that uh, f of x is equal to 0 for all values of x so f of x is equal to 0 for all x so this is uh, the solution and we can verify uh, that uh, limit value here we, we have noted that this limit should be equal to a and a is 0 and we know uh, the sensor function is uh, 0 in uh, all x values so f of x is also this limit is also equal to 0 so that we know so this is the solution and once again uh, thanks Tiger Max channel for this wonderful problem and thanks for watching